What's up, Marvel Snappers? Welcome to another Math Breakdown. Today we're going to take a look at Yondu and how the odds around his disruption effect work. Yondu has the effect on reveal remove the top card of your opponent's deck. His stat line is on par with the average 1 cost card, and this effect has the potential to disrupt your opponent by removing a key card in their deck. If the opponent's deck is built around a singular card, this effect can be game winning. Let's look at an ideal scenario. Let's assume you draw Yondu on turn 1. The opponent then has a 66.7% chance to have not drawn the key card in their opening 4 draws. With 8 cards remaining in a typical deck, Yondu has a 12.5% chance to remove that key card. Combining these odds gives us an 8.3% chance for that key card to be removed. Now there is a drawback to this effect. Missing that key card thins the opponent's deck, increasing the odds that they end up drawing that card later. If the opponent did not draw that card in their opening draws, over the next 5 draws in a typical game they have a 62.5% chance to draw that card. With the reduced deck size, that chance increases to 71.4%. This gives the opponent roughly 9% extra to draw the desired card. Compared to the 8.3% chance of having it be removed as intended, it seems close to even for it to go either way. Except that was based on the assumption that you draw Yondu on turn 1. This table shows the actual odds at play over the first 5 turns. You have to combine the odds of drawing Yondu, the opponent having not drawn the key card, and Yondu removing that key card. The odds do improve as the game goes on, but missing will also increase the odds even further that the opponent draws the card that they want. I have a separate video on the math of Korg, but for comparison we can take a quick look at the odds of Korg disrupting an opponent's draw. In terms of generic disruption, in my opinion, Korg is more reliable. Although that does not mean Yondu is bad, those were examples where we were looking to remove a singular key card. If the opponent has multiple key or high value cards, the odds of Yondu disrupting the opponent's strategy goes up. For each extra valuable target on turn 1, you get an extra 12.5% chance to get a desirable outcome. Also, seeing the removed card can give you important information as to what strategy the opponent is playing. Another benefit of Yondu is an odd destroy interaction. This is not clear from the text of the card, but Yondu will reduce the cost of death by 1 and add the power of the removed card to null. Yondu has a unique effect that can disrupt the opponent. That said, it is far from reliable, and you can even benefit the opponent. The destroy interaction will keep this card relevant, but Yondu is not better than a card like Korg for general disruption. They do disrupt in different ways, so I won't say Korg is strictly better than Yondu, but I wanted to highlight some of the expected value Yondu can provide. Thank you for watching! Let me know in the comments if you learned anything or if you disagree with anything from this video. Your feedback is always appreciated. If you have other math related ideas you'd like to see explored, put those in the comments too. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.